Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this of, of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Child of God, before I go deep into this message, I want you to quickly follow me to the book of 2 Kings. The book of 2 Kings chapter 1. The Bible talks about the conspiracies that was against Elijah. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about in the book of 2 Kings, in the book of 2 Kings from chapter 1, how Elijah pronounced God's judgment against those that conspire, you know, to come and take him, to come and humiliate him, to come and disgrace him, to come and trouble him. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. To this person you are hearing me right now, there have been a lot of conspiracy about you. I need you to understand that those that are responsible for that conspiracy, they will answer to their conspiracies. They will answer to their slandering and they will answer to their lies. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says in the book of 2 Kings chapter 1, in verse 9, let's read from verse 9. God, this message is just, you know, when I hear this word, conspiracy, conspiracy, this is all. The Spirit of the Lord lead me to this verse to use to release this message so you will understand that no matter how many conspiracies you are faced with or you are faced with or you are about to face with how many lies you have, you have faced before or you are facing or you are about to face with how many slander you have faced before or that you are facing or that you are about to face, you know, every one of them responsible for that situation. They will have a price to pay. And the price will not be a beautiful one. Hallelujah. A price of evil conspiracy cannot be beautiful. So when they start to reap the price of that, they are slandering their lies and their conspiracy. No one should be blamed. Hallelujah. God should not be blamed. Neither should you be blamed. Because whatsoever a man soweth, he reap. The Bible says in verse 9, Then the king sent unto him a captain. A captain of 50 with his 50. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill. And he spoke unto him, Thou man of God, the king has said, Come down. The king has said, Come down. The Bible says in verse 10, And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50. I love the story of Elijah. When I read something about this man, there is something about him that I always trigger, you know, that fire in me. I'm like, these are the kind of people we even need in this generation now. Not lukewarm Christian, but us, unfortunately, we don't even have another Elijah. Hallelujah. He never tasted that. So it's, you know, we're in a generation where men don't walk with God rightly. They fall, they walk, we fall, we walk, we fall, we walk, we fall, we walk. So they, this set of men, they, wasn't, they were not falling. Just like Enoch, they were not falling. They were just like, you know, walking with the Lord. Everything about their life was just God. So the Bible says, and Elijah answered, you know, they called him a man of God. They know that he was a man of God. And they said, thou man of God. They did not call him by his name and say, Oh, Elijah, come down. The king miss you. So that is to tell you that those that are conspiring against you, they know who you are. They know that you are a child of God. Mm -hmm. You might be asking yourself, Oh, who knows me? They know. They know you as a chosen one. That is why they can boldly tell you, Are you not the one that said you are serving God? Are you not the one that is always shouting fire? Are you not the one that is always saying that God is able because they know who you are. They did not come to call Elijah by his name and said, Elijah, come down. But they said, thou man of God. So if they call him a man of God, 
And Elijah knows that he was really a man of God. He knows that that God will defend him. So, child of God, that conspiracy against you is because you are a man and you are a woman of God. Yes, because you are a daughter, you are a son of Zion. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. They know. They know. The conspiracy, let me tell you, the conspiracy is because they know who you are and they don't want you to function in who you really are. They don't want to fun they don't want you to function in your purpose. They don't want you to function in your anointing. They are looking for a way to ridicule the God that you serve. Yes, this 50 were looking for a way to ridicule Elijah so that he can be questioned. Ah, he did not say he's a man of God. But because Elijah know that yes, he's a man of God, and he knows the God that he said is a God that will not leave him alone for the 50 to swallow. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible said, Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down. Because you called him a man of God. And he said, okay, this is what you have called me. If I really be that man of God that you called me, can you understand? If I really be that man of God that you called me, he said, let fire fall. So if I am not what you called me, then you can be able to do whatever you want to me. Can you see? Can you see even when Jesus was on this earth, when he was about to be crucified, when he was on the journey to the cross, are you the king of the Jews? They ask him. Are you the king of the Jews? They ask him. And he said, you are the one that is saying it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <clears throat> Glory our Father. Child of God, hear me. And the Bible says, and fire came down. At the pronunciation of that fire that he called, the fire came down. The fire did not wait for another one month or one ten years to come down. Because he knows the God that he served. That is why the Bible says, They that know that God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Hallelujah. Child of God, hear me. Those that are conspiring against you, those that, are, that want to conspire against you, and those that have already conspired against you, that is making you to face a lot of evil conspiracy right now, they will answer to that conspiracy. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because God proved himself in the life of Elijah, making them know that of a truth, he is my son. Yes, I am his God. I am his God. This is my servant and I am his God. Hallelujah. And God proved himself in the life of El uh, Elijah. Glory to Jesus. That is one thing the devil is kind of foolish sometimes. They never give in. They don't give up. The Bible say again in verse 11. Again. Again. Also he sent unto him another captain. Another captain. The first one that he sent to humiliate him. To humiliate him. To bring him in chains. To destroy him. Those ones were dead. Now he sent again. Another 50. The Bible says, and they said, O man of God, told her the king said, Come down quickly. Come down quickly. You know, it's like they were commanding the man. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and the 50. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50. The Bible says, He sent again the third time. That these ones had to now understand that I don't have to come and command this man. If you if have killed the first ones, he killed the second set. <laughs> the captain was very wise. I'm like, maybe this person was a family man <laughs> that loves maybe his family, his children, his wife is back at home. They're like, no, I'm not going to die today. <laughs> so his wisdom is something that should be studied. It did not come foolishly the way. The rest came. The Bible says, came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said, Oh, told him, O oh man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came fire down from heaven and burned up the captain of the former fifty with their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. And the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, Go down with him, 
be not afraid who are they to just come and command you and order you around because of their conspiracies they can just tell you they conspire against you because they want to say sit down you will sit down who are they i am telling you child of god they will answer to every conspiracy that they made against you it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist sarah by the grace of god I will see you again. Bye-bye.